This video will demonstrate arterial line placement in the radial artery using two of the many techniques available for arterial line placement, an over-the-wire technique and an over-the-needle technique. Placement of an arterial line is indicated for continuous monitoring of arterial pressure and direct arterial blood sampling. The radial pulse is palpated between the distal radius and the flexor carpi radialis tendon. Prior to line placement, perfusion of the extremity should be checked. For radial arterial catheters, an Allen test or a modified Allen test may be performed. While the value of the Allen test has not been firmly established, it may give some qualitative assessment of collateral perfusion. In the Allen test, the operator occludes both the ulnar and radial pulses while the patient tightly clenches their fist. The hand is then opened and pressure on the ulnar artery is released. Circulation should return to the extremity within five seconds with delayed return suggesting poor collateral circulation. The test should then be performed on the radial artery circulation in the same manner. Other contraindications include coagulopathy, advanced atherosclerosis, Raynaud's phenomenon, or thromboangitis obliterans. For both, for both procedures, similar equipment will be used. Material for a sterile prep and a sterile field. A needle, catheter and wire, 1% lidocaine, a 25 gauge needle and 1 cc syringe, larger bore needle or scalpel, suture and needle driver, and a wrist board or roll. Prior to sterile field preparation, position the wrist. By positioning the wrist in dorsiflexion, the radial artery is brought in closer approximation to the skin. This can be instrumental to the success of the procedure. Proper positioning can be maintained by placing a roll of gauze under the wrist or by using a specially designed arm board and securing the arm with tape. Once positioned, the field can be sterilely prepared and draped using towels or a drape. As with all invasive procedures, meticulous care should be taken to minimize the risk of infection. After sterile preparation, a small wheel of 1% lidocaine can be infused in the conscious patient to help decrease pain associated with line placement. A small wheel should be raised. In the over-the-wire technique, the catheter and needle assembly are checked first to make sure the catheter glides easily. The assembly is then advanced toward the artery at a 30 to 45 degree angle. When blood return is noted, that catheter is then advanced through the vessel and the needle is removed. The wire is prepared and the catheter is slowly withdrawn until pulsatile blood flow is observed. The wire can then be advanced into the vessel. Once the wire is in the vessel, the catheter can be advanced. While holding pressure on the artery distal to the catheter, the wire can be removed and the catheter can be connected to the transducer system. In the over-the-needle technique, a catheter is used and advanced at a similar 30 to 45 degree angle. Once blood return is obtained, the needle is advanced slightly farther to assure that the catheter has entered the vessel. The needle angle is then lowered to 10 to 15 degrees and the catheter is advanced into the vessel. Proximal pressure is applied to the artery and the needle can then be removed and the catheter can be connected to the transducer system. Regardless of the technique used to place the catheter, great care should be taken to make sure it stays in place. Although there are ways to secure the catheter with adhesive tape, the best way to secure the catheter is by suturing it in place. A moderate diameter non-absorbable suture material such as silk or nylon should be used. There are many ways to suture the catheter in place. The key is to make sure it is secure. A clear dressing can be placed over the catheter to help further secure it. Once the arterial line has been secured in place and the transducer connected, perfusion to the extremity should be rechecked. Perfusion should be checked periodically throughout the time the arterial line remains in place. 
There are some common problems that can occur during arterial line placement. If in the over-the-needle technique, no blood return is obtained after the initial flash, the catheter can be advanced through the vessel and the over-the-wire technique can be employed. Occasionally, free flow of blood is observed, but the catheter will not pass easily. In the animation, you can see how the tip of the needle might be within the vessel while the catheter remains outside. By advancing the needle slightly farther after the initial flash of blood, the catheter can enter the artery, allowing for successful cannulation. In some instances, the catheter may get hung up on the skin, making it hard to advance. The risk of this can be minimized at the start of the procedure by making a skin nick using either an 11-blade scalpel or a larger bore needle. Finally, after multiple attempts at cannulation, the artery may go into spasm, which will make it nearly impossible to cannulate. In this setting, attempts at the artery should cease, and a new site should be selected. By following these steps, arterial catheterization can be a safe and effective procedure.